Hi, welcome back to the Potty Walk Channel. I'm Hal, and seeing as Halloween is coming up on us this week, I figured we needed to make a relatively cheap, fun, Halloween-inspired wreath. Featuring Pennywise. Let's get to it. First step in this process is you'll need to go pick up these wreath rings that you can attach plants to in the floral section of your local hobby store. They are both roughly about two dollars a piece. And to connect them, we're going to be using zip ties. All right, once you have your center ring in place, the twist, the zip ties, well, I mean, it may come out even if you're a little bit better at tightening them down evenly. Doesn't matter. The tool, which we're fixing to use to cut up in the strips to make 90% of this wreath, will hide any of the crimes that happen along the, this section of the journey. In cutting your strips, you're probably going to need to cut them six to seven inches because you're going to fold them in half and tie a loop and then from that point wrap it around each of these little bars in alternating patterns to form the collar and hair of Pennywise. What follows is a brief construction montage. hooked together in nice Pennywise style outlook. We have the hair, the top collar, the colored third, second collar, and the bottom white collar. Now once that's complete, we move on to making the face. I just printed out a picture of Pennywise's face I found online. This one I figured was suitably creepy enough to go on my front door at the house. Piece of foam core board. Find out the flattest edge you can find. And take some Mod Podge and basically spread out and gluing this part down to the foam core. Sponge brush. Just go back and forth and make a mess. And lay out your head in the glued section. And kind of smush it down from one end to the other. Make sure you get most of the air bubbles out. I think I did a good job there. Glued on his head. And then top coat it with some more Mod Podge. This one we're going to do a really good coat and seal it good. Then we have to let it dry. Actually, I'm not really sure how long it has to dry. Usually just do it and let it sit overnight, but let's figure this out. Shall we? Uh, 
spread it out, get it all up in there. But you don't want to clump anywhere so it wrinkles the page too badly. But in case it does, always print out a second head. That's looking good. All right, close your Mod Podge and let's let this dry. One hour later. All right, it's been almost exactly an hour. Our Mod Podge is dry. Now the fun part, cutting out Pennywise's face. I'm using just an X-Acto knife with the blade and carefully cut around the outside of his face and try not to cut yourself, which I've done many a times with these things. Come loose. Loose, I say. There it goes. And we have Pennywise's head. Just a little bit of touch up around the chin. And you can feel a spot where the glue did not adhere. So recover our knife so we don't cut ourselves accidentally. And breaking back out the Mod Podge. The reattach. Make sure that's the only spot. And give it a little dab. Take a brush and just spread it on up in there. And lay it down. And while I've got the weight on that little section to dry, let's hit it with a little bit more. This is matte. You can get glossy. I'm not sure which would be better for Pennywise here. I guess that would be up to your discretion. Just give it a nice little coat extra. Get all over the edges. And there we have. Now we have to wait a few more minutes to let this give it another quick dry. And we'll be right back. All right, so once you have your head cut out and it's dry again, figure out how you want to place it on your wreath to simulate his head and hair and whatnot. I figure, seeing as the way his head, Pennywise's head is shaped, kind of gigantic bulb, you want the majority of it up towards the top and not so much down toward the bottom of your wreath. Now you can't just glue it on. I guess you could just glue it to, straight to the wreath. I kind of don't like that method. So I'm going to cut some squares out of the foam core left over, hot glue them to the back of this, then glue a bar of foam core across the top of the back side here. That way it will hold the face onto it. And if you actually ever do need to take it off for some reason, it can be removed without tearing up this whole thing or all your tool. So we just cut some squares here, cut off a little chunk. We'll set this off to the side so we have more workspace. And you'll probably need about half an inch coming off the back of your head to the other side of the wreath. So let's see how many squares we can get cut here to make that work. Give it a good three, maybe. This is what quarter inch foam core. So hot 
glue gun, which has been turned on since I've started filming again. And just squirt some on. Squeeze it together. And then rinse and repeat. It doesn't have to look pretty because nobody else will see it. Only you. And straighten out your tool because this stuff just crinkles all over the place. I couldn't imagine having to wear this. I figure you want the probably down here towards the bottom of the face. Give it our best shot here. Glob of glue. And squeeze it on. And this should give us the desired result. look like that. That look good? That looks like Pennywise. Now on the back side here, it just does stick over. We might need a larger, one more, but let's cut our strip. It's not that big. It's actually just about four and a half inches wide and it's not going to be long enough. So, another strip. straight off the board. a nice little brace across the back to hold the head on. Once again, straighten your tool out, because heaven forbid if your tool is crooked. And drop your hot glue gun. need another piece of foam cord in between because it just separated. Too much pressure. I get that. Let's add two more just to be on the safe side because it doesn't need pressure that much. Because there's foam cord weighs nothing. There you have it. Happy Halloween!